welcome to another kaggle competition where we attempt to solve a machine learning problem statement with one chat gpt prompt in this particular example we are going to predict moz hardness what is that i also don't know we are just going to figure that out i've just picked this problem statement from the kaggle playground competitions and i'm just going to continue to attempt solving them and see if i can just solve most of this problem statement with just one prompt i have one prompt template this time around i have designed a prompt template which we can just plug in some details and then be able to generate the code if you want that particular template please mention prompt in the comment section and i'll be sending you the link for it but before we dive in hey my name is kunal naik i'm the founder of data science masterminds and i'm on a mission to help you learn and apply data science effectively so that you can procure your dream job or get a freelancing gig so if you want more content like this please do me a favor hit the subscribe button and join my community which is data science transition hub where i am going to continue to post new videos and you get notified whenever i post a new video so let's get started i have with me the regression with moz hardness dataset now this is a kaggle playground series dataset and it has originally been created by Jocelyn Damla and what Kaggle has done is they've taken this data and created more some some synthetic data and converted that into a competition so that we can participate in it and see how we rank against each other so i'm going to use the competition one which is going to help us participate in the competition and if you have a better score you can also mention that in the comment section so here's the setup now first what we're going to do is give chat gpt the train data and all the columns that it has and then we're going to ask it to solve this particular problem statement and this is going to be a regression problem statement that the evaluation metric is going to be median absolute error and that's what we're going to calculate so it has given all this information and I can straight away just go to the code section, just hide this one, expand this a little bit. And I'm just going to say a new notebook and I'm going to say one prompt most prediction. One prompt most prediction. So that's the competition, most hardness prediction. So this is hardness prediction. So I now have the code and we just need to provide the code to be able to execute but for that we need let's understand what this most production is so i'm just going to take the original data set because it has some explanation around it and I'm, i can just simply copy this and then go over to chat gpt and paste this but before i paste it i'm going to say simplify this and let me know what i should do paste that so paste that and I'll keep this aside here the data set okay it is saying this study appears to the study appears to focus on using machine learning and statistical approaches to predict the hardness of mineral based on the composition and crystal structure while it's an interesting research topic it doesn't relate to your profile as data science coach okay i've told i'm a data science trainer and so it's not doing that but let let me see what it can do so i'm just going to ask why predict hardness so let's see what it says Predicting the hardness of materials such as minerals, it is important for various industrial scientific uh, application. Here are some of the reasons why predicting. So material selection, engineers and designers need to choose materials with suitable hardness for specific application. For example, manufacturing, selecting materials, right hardness is critical for durability and performance. So if you're someone who wants to get into manufacturing and dealing with materials this particular case study will be helpful for you quality control naturally if you are producing something the quality should be of the same consistency material testing material development scientific scientific understanding now, there's a lot of stuff that is available here i'm not going to go into much of it maybe i'll document this and keep it but we have you know you get the idea here that we want to basically predict the hardness so that we can do material selection quality control material testing material development scientific understanding so that's really the purpose 
Now, once we understand the purpose, let's go ahead to the competition and start writing the code for this. So, I'm going to expand this a little bit. So, we're going to have the code. For that, I have a prompt and uh, do let me know if you want this particular prompt. And I'm going to show you how to use it. Hope I'm hopeful that I can use this particular prompt to solve multiple problem statement in the playground series. But let's see how to use the prompt now. So I've already downloaded the data set just to save some time. This is the data set. What we need to predict is hardness. So the first thing that we need to provide here is the hardness. I'm just going to have this here. I'm going to bring in the hardness problem statement here. So the target column is this, right? The metric for evaluation is going to be, it's already mentioned in the problem statement here, right? So it is going to be median absolute error. So I remember that I'm going to median absolute error. So I'm going to mention that here. And as a next step, we need to give the model name. This one is happens to be a regression problem statement and the hardness can range from a certain value. So if you just look at it, this particular one, it can range from a minimum of 1 to a maximum of 10 and that's why it becomes a regression problem statement. So I put a regression problem statement here and exclude columns. Now I don't want the ID to be getting used within that. So I'm just going to say ID should be excluded from. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these columns, right? I've already taken these columns. I can simply take this here and then paste it below here. So now the prompt is ready. So I've already written the prompt here. You can pause the video and see what the prompt is here. But the way to take this particular prompt to chat GPT is you select this first cell, copy all of this, then go to chat GPT and paste it and say enter. Now hopefully this should give you a code that we, which we can use to be able to make predictions. And we're going to copy like section by section and go, go ahead and use it while solving the problem statement. So if it gives you in one shot, you can simply copy all of them in one shot. This is not going to give me in one shot. So I'm just going to copy it cell by cell, such as like this. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, and paste. So now it has read the train and test data here, but you're going to take it from the input data here because that's the original location. So I'm going to paste it there and the test data pasting it here. Now, before you move forward, ensure that your train data and test data is imported correctly from the Kaggle location to be able to make this work or else your code will be failing. It will say no train data found or no test data found. So if you are encountering this, please ensure you go to this input data and take the path, which is this, these buttons here. So once you have that, let's uh, run this particular piece of code and let's see if it works. It's going to initialize it and um, just keep in mind while this is happening, this is going to be a base solution. Now, if you have a better solution, which means if you can perform like hyperparameter optimization and use various other model, you are free to use that, make the solution, build a solution and put that in the comment section so others can learn. And if you have any other further idea tricks to improve the model, do let me know in the comment section. I will make another video on that one. So that seems to be working and we can simply also look at the data here take the string data and just say head so this is our way of doing it this is the way we do it in python so we run that and you see that data set that we have is imported and uh, there's the hardness that we have so we're going to run the regression equation linear equation it's going to fit the model so i'm going to run that it fit the model uh, i can make the predictions on the test data then i can calculate the median absolute error it's around 0.96 pretty high there. We don't know if it is overfitting or not. Uh, it can only be done if you're doing like a train and validation set to be able to check, but we're not going to do that for this particular example. You have to update the prompt to be able to do this particular activity. For now, we're just keeping it simple to see if at all it is any good. Now, I did that and then it makes a, a submission file, right? And indeed it did. So I'm going to go back here. Let's just expand this completely and see the output. Yes, there is an output there. What we can do is then attempt to submit this comp to the competition and let's see what the score is. So with one prompt, we are able to make and get this output, which is really great. It would have taken quite a, some while to be able to understand the context and be able to do it. So let's see if 
we uh, have any good score at all or not okay the submission has failed the code got something wrong so let's just look at what's happening here i'm going to download the data set submission data set and see what it is so it has id and i'm also going to download the sample data set and see what it has okay it also has id and hardness but this id is taken from the train data and this hardness is taken from somewhere else so definitely not working we're going to I'm going to fix this a little bit let's see how we can fix that it actually should this test data we want the e id column from it so let's see if that is available okay so definitely id is not uh, available because it's dropping it so we don't want to drop it in this particular case i'm just going to be able to correct that and run this again so no id column is dropped from the test data because we need that towards the end now we'll make the predictions again teacher names unsim as fit so definitely the id column is causing an issue here and what we're going to do here is that we're going to just say drop and in this particular place we are going to drop this particular column and make the prediction okay so the for predictions we should be able to drop it but while we are having this data we don't do it right so in fact this line is also not required so we just have this so we go down and this is corrected so we can make the submission file again which is now correct so just keep in mind that we may end up doing some errors and we can give the error back to chat gpt and do it this was a pretty simple logic so i fixed it myself if you don't understand you can simply give it to chat gpt and see what's happening okay so i got a test data and the predictions which should be working now so if you look at that and i'm going to just make a submission here and then submit it okay so the submission has been made it's the latest score is 0.98 best score is 0.9 and we can definitely go ahead and check how where, uh, where we stand in terms of the competition so when i go back to the leaderboard i have 0.9 so somewhere here my entry is around 853 out of 918 definitely not a solution that i'm looking for so definitely not a good solution we are going to do another video so that we can try to improve the score but for now i'm going to keep continuing to make the base solution with one prompt and see how many of those i can do if you're coming till this particular point thanks for tuning in to solve this kaggle problem statement if you have any question doubts or something that you can that you need help with do mention that in the comment section i'm really looking for ways to help you reach your dream job and so with your comments i can get good ideas on what more content i can make thank you see you in another problem statement in the next video